The very sight of the famous and formidable Mount Everest is majestic. The Earth's highest mountain above sea level, Everest has been on the bucket list of climbing enthusiasts from around the world for years. But how tall is the Everest now? Thanks to the Trimble Surveying Solutions, the Nepal Survey Department may soon have the answer to that. After the devastating earthquake of 2015, the actual height of Mount Everest became a subject of discussion for expeditioners, scientists, researchers and surveyors from all over the globe. There were widespread talks about the quake altering the height of the mountain. To put to rest all such speculations, the Nepal Survey Department decided to go ahead with the measurement of the actual height of Sagarmatha or the Everest. This is not only the height measurement of the Mount Everest. Uh, we do believe this will enhance our capacity development. Uh, so this will be the historic and happy moment for us. After exhibiting their methodology based on GNSS surveying, gravity surveying, precise leveling and trigonometric leveling to survey experts from the US, China, Europe and India at an international workshop in Kathmandu, the survey department kick-started the project in 2018. The mammoth task, which took an entire year, could not have been completed without the Trimble technology, especially the R10 GNSS receiver. This project started off with the, with the vision in 2017 when our people were interacting with the, the team here in the survey department to see what best equipments and methodologies can be used to complete this important task. Uh, we suggested them uh, certain product lines including R10 GNSS receivers, RNS as a base station and few robotic total stations for doing the precise leveling. Trimble's R10 GNSS system with HD GNSS technology makes it easier for surveyors to collect accurate data quickly and easily even in extreme conditions. Built with powerful technologies integrated into a sleek design, the unique system provides its users with a powerful way to increase data collection productivity. Carrying and serving instrument at the top of the Everest was a challenge for our team. And Trimble R10 receiver helped us to conduct the GNSS survey at the top because it was lightweight and easy to carry. It has a long-lasting battery and the antenna and receiver were inbuilt. R10 was the primary product that they had used while doing the measurement at the peak. It has a technology called HD GNSS that enabled them to capture the data precisely. The 360 degree satellite tracking enabled them to track the points very quickly. The processing of the data that will be captured from R10 GNSS receiver, Trimble Business Center will help them processing it. r s receiver was providing the correction services and S9 robotic total station was helping them while they were doing the precise leveling and trigonometric leveling of the project. Beating the odds, a seven-member team of the survey department completed the data collection process by December 2019. The fieldwork that started from 2018 February was ended in the first week of December 2019. The fieldwork included the precise leveling, trigonometric leveling, gravity survey, and the GNSS survey. So trigonometric leveling is from the 12 stations and the precise leveling we conducted for 248 kilometers. For the gravity survey and the GNSS survey, we did it, this uh, survey for around 300 stations. It was an experience of a lifetime, if not a life-altering experience for the team members. Master ma sagar matha chano sadi lo kamai na. This ma bani ami just survey or gara survey garno. Aje difficult kamo, major challenge bani ko sagar matha ma climate sanga face garno. Tya dheri hawa hori chalne, avalanche or aone. र एकदम चिसो होने समस्या ले हम यार लाई काम करना आप ठहर बनाएगा थियो तो ये एक्सपीडिशन को एकदम मेमोरेबल घटना चाहे मेरे फर्क नहीं बेला मैं ऑक्सीजन साकियो अराउंड फाइव मिनट चाहे मो अनकंसियस बाहर डाले पति चाहे मलाई कुने सेर पाले मलाई ऑक्सीजन दिन वायर और मो सफल आरोही ग्रुप में यह आगाडी छो But as they say, all's well that ends well. The survey department's resolve, combined with the Trimble technology's potential, made the job possible. When we initiated the project, at the time we were looking for the high technology that could give us the best result of what we were expecting. Because, you know, this was the first time for Nepal to be involved in the uh, measurement project. So, in that uh, course, we approached uh, Trimble, where we received uh, uh, high uh, precise uh, GNSS receivers, total stations for the measurement of the height. 
Usually we use R10 at the summit for scaling the Mount Everest. We, our surveyor uh, stayed there for about two hours and they took the observation uh, one hour and 16 minutes in R10. I would like to thank Trimble for supporting us, providing the various instrument. Those were for GNSS observation. Soon we'll finish our other uh, field works, usually trig leveling and gravity survey, and then we'll start processing for the scaling of the Mount Everest. <laughs>